these are the Nike Dunk P Rocks. So we're back with another video. So if you haven't checked out my latest video where I unbox the Nike Dunk uh, P Rocks, uh, please make sure to do so because in this video I'm going to be doing an unfeed review. Um, so I have I've had these for about a month now. Here they are. The P Rocks, the Paul Rodriguez Dunks. Um, very nice pair of shoes, definitely out there. As you can see, it comes in the standard SP dunk box. I won't go over that because you can check it out in my unboxing. But here we got the shoe. Um, two different shoes with a lot of different materials. Um, I'm not going to break down each material but a lot of leather a lot of mesh and all kinds of, of stuff um, but I'll be talking about the fit of the shoe uh, the comfort of the shoe and just basic I haven't tried skating in these yet so I can't talk about that I do not skate that much but a little bit uh, haven't tried it though with these on um, but for normal wear I can definitely um, talk about how comfortable these are all right, so just a quick overview of the shoe. Definitely an out there shoe, but I really dig the vibe of this shoe. I really think it's a nice shoe. Um, material wise, we got leather in the front toe here, both on the right shoe and the left shoe got the elephant print and some flower print on the right pair. The shoes are mostly made out of leather. We got some got some fabric at the uh, right tongue here in different colors. We got foamy tongues which is very comfortable for your front foot. Um, and more leather on the back here and some short hat suede on the Nike logo at the back. The only thing I would say with which was uncomfortable with these shoes was before I broke them in, the inner sock lining here, which may seem pretty comfortable. Uh, they actually scuffed my ankle, Achilles heel or ankle area here. But after a couple of times wearing these, it uh, it wasn't uncomfortable anymore. So I don't know what was wrong with that. Um, as, as of sizing, these are a size US 8.5, which I'm usually a US 9, so these are half down from a normal size, and as you can see, I've taken out the insoles, um, so I would definitely say, if you can get these in your true to size, make sure to stick with your true to size um, for a perfect fit, but the half size down will also do if you take out the insoles. But yeah, not the most comfortable shoes I've had, but uh, but I'll say uh, definitely not uncomfortable. As you can see, it comes with these two different laces. Two sets of uh, red laces, as well as two sets of yellow laces, and also a pair of vault laces, which I haven't tried on yet. Um, the insoles are two different colors as well, a black and white as well as a, a vault colored uh, insole. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll just give you a quick look. Actually, I saw after I made the unboxing that on this shoe with the white uh, tongue here I'm not sure if you can pick it up on camera but it it is actually not creamy white it's more it has a yellow tint to it you can't you can't pick it up on camera but it does have a yellow tint I thought for a second that it already was uh, dirty when I got them but uh, but it has a yellow tint to it and if we take a look at the bottom Tell that I've worn these. 
But yeah, that was it for the on feed review of the Nike P Rods. If you have any questions, please make sure to write them down below in the comment section. I um, will be more than happy to answer what I can. Um, and yeah, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. And I'll see you in my next video coming up very, very soon. Peace.